welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with a music festival makeup look because Coachella, I believe, is this weekend. I'm not going. I've never been to Coachella. I can't afford Coachella, but hopefully one day I can. Hopefully one day I can go. I didn't get a little too, too crazy today because I wanted it to be a little more simple but edgy as well. I mean, this isn't simple. It's like a mix of like, it's, it's glam, but it's not like super bam out there crazy like, yeah, but it's still super glam. So a lot of the products I use today are for my oily skin girls. If you guys have dry skin, just substitute any of this for products that you know is gonna work for your dry skin really well. Um, but I did it so that you're, especially when you're in the heat, you're oily, your skin gets really just like nasty and greasy and we don't want that. We just wanna be glowy without the grease. Do you feel me? So I did this bronzy look inspired by Bi Brickell who is on Instagram, of course. She is the queen of festival makeup. I absolutely love her Instagram. I, and it's, it's crazy because I feel like everybody is featuring her this season and I'm really happy for her. I'm really excited. I hope she gets more recognition because she definitely deserves it. I hope she starts a YouTube channel because I don't think she has one and I would love to see A, how she speaks, first of all, and B, just how she applies her makeup in general, so. If you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button to join the family of queens and kings. And also don't forget to hit that like button because it'll really help me out. And without further ado, let's get into this video. We back again. We back again. Guys, my voice sounds so much better than yesterday. Yesterday I could barely talk and I'm just ecstatic. But my voice, oh my God, that was like a really hard like slap like. <clears throat> but I'm going to be using a mattifying primer, my new Makeup Forever uh, Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the base mattifying Primer. I just got this yesterday. I absolutely love it. I had to do a bar cleaning yesterday I did my makeup right before that and I was there for like a good four hours and my Face was still matte though. I was sweating. So I just mm, I have a feeling this one and I are gonna be great friends For foundation, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay all-nighter foundation and this is a mattifying foundation, so if you guys do have dry skin, do not use this foundation. It will not be great for you. It will definitely pick up on your dry patches, and it's just not cute. But if you're oily skin, to all my oily skin girls out there, this is good. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Tarte Shape Tip Concealer in tan. And if you guys are wondering, when I did my haul, I had light, medium, honey. I still have it. I just went back and got tan, um, you know for the moment. I'm going to be taking a damp beauty blender and just blending it out. So I finally bought the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder yesterday and I'm uh, happy to have this in my collection because you know it took me a while. But I'm just going to set my under eyes and I like to just press in the powder versus baking now. Um, I realize that baking really doesn't do a lot for me. For eyebrows, I'm going to be using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Chocolate, and this actually isn't my color. Um, it's a little too reddish brown for me, which is weird because the box doesn't like show you like a reddish brown. So I just thought it was a little deceiving. But um, I'm just using this until my my what is it brow is comes in the mail because I ordered it off of Ulta.com when they had their sale. But I still like to use this to shape my brows and uh, have like a little guideline so when I do fill in my brows, um, they're a lot sharper and neater and just awesome. Then I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Dip Brow in Medium Brown and just filling in my brows. Next, I'm just going to clean up my brows with my Tarte Shape Tape. To prime my eyes, I'm also going to be taking my Tarte Shape Tape. To set my lids, I'm going to be taking some Laura Mercier 
Can I do some powder? Okay, so for eye tutorials, I'm working really hard on getting a lens that can get closer to my eyes so you guys can see, but for now, we're gonna have to be struggling for a bit. So I'm gonna be taking my Morphe 35R palette. I know you guys are probably like, okay, can we see a new palette? And I'm gonna take that base, that perfect transition shade and just apply that in my crease. I'm gonna take be taking another light brown shade. I really don't know how to explain the shade. It's next to this taupey shade. <laughs> I'm just gonna apply that over the first shade that we did. Next, I'm taking the shade under that and just applying that in my outer crease. Next, we're gonna start deepening the color with this chocolate shade. Next, I'm going in with a darker shade, a deeper brown. I'm gonna go ahead and take that in the outer crease. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out. And once again, on the inner corner, I'm gonna take that first transition shade that we used. I want to bring in a little bit of a darker shade. Next, we're going to carve out the crease of the Tarte Shade Tape Concealer. Next, I'm going to take the shimmery shade from the 35R palette and just place that on the lid. I'm going to take whatever's left over on this fluffy dome brush and um, blend out the crease. The lower lash line, I'm going to be taking a medium brown shade then I'm going to be taking a darker brown shade and applying that on the lower lash line for lashes I'm going to be taking my Nicole Guerrero and Ilor collab lashes and these are in Define I still can't figure out these lashes so now that's done I'm going to be going ahead and contouring my face with my Anastasia contour kit um, I've been meaning to buy the Kat Von D shade and light palette just haven't done it yet because you know I haven't <laughs> next I'm gonna take Mac give me Sun and just apply that over my contour I'm also gonna contour my nose Because I don't like blush, I'm gonna skip it and use my Jeffree Star highlighter in, or Skin Frost in Dark Horse. I'm gonna do a lot of layering today, so be prepared. I'm gonna take my Anastasia Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. Hmm. I think I'm gonna take Bronzed. I'm gonna take Glow Getter from my Nicole Guerrero and Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. Okay, so now what I wanna do is take this NYX liquid liner, the Glam Liner Aqualux in um, GLA 04, but there's also a name for it called Glam 24 Carat. And I wanna do a line across my nose. So for lips, I'm thinking of doing a mixture of Giordana Sweet Cream, Matte Lip Cream and Cinnamon Toast, and the Milani Adore Me Matte Lip Cream in Adorable. Actually, I think I just might stick with just cinnamon toast. And then I'm going to finish it off with my MAC Fix Plus and Lavender. Oh 
Man, I'm about to a latte. We're gonna do a lot later. We're gonna do a lot later.